Uh, hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel for another video. Now, if you are new to this um, video, you're probably here because of a title which is going to be uh, the best starting classes to use on Black Ops 4. Now, since this is going to be going up on Christmas Day, obviously I know a lot of people, a lot of players will be getting Black Ops 4 for the very first time today and are probably going to be searching YouTube for some classes and some tips on how to just get better at BO4 from a player who's played this a lot. Now, first off, I'm currently level 434 in Black Ops 4 multiplayer with a 3.72 KD, so I'd like to say, I'd like to think at least I know what I am talking about. I apologise for my phone. I like think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this game and class setups and some of the best things to use. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, for your first class setup, I think you'll be able to build all of these classes um, below level 20, I think 6 or 27. That's what I'm classing as like a, a low level on this game. Like then you'll just slowly obviously get more uh, perks, attachments, weapons and stuff as you level up. But I'd say below level 25 these classes are catered for. And the, the most like the easiest gun to use is probably going to be the ICR-7. It has virtually no recoil when you put Grip 2 on it. Uh, it kills at a really good fire rate and it is just an all around great weapon. So like I said, what I put on this, I put Grip, Grip 2, Quick Draw and Reflex. Now that is what I firmly believe the best um, ICR setup and as you get more familiar with the game and the control, very little recoil this has more. You can put FMG on it to uh, penetrate the armor users and kill them easier. Now other perks are going to be fairly kind of like linear for all of them but all round about the same perks and gear so i'd say for gear you're either going to be wanting to run in a stim shot which you can heal faster and more often with while hip firing your weapon or comsec device which is going to allow you to get your score streaks at a link like a decreased cost which is kind of like hardline or andy up in the past uh, card games all of these are good and all of them are extremely strong these gears but i firmly believe stim shot and comsec to be the best but if you're a hardcore player i'd say equipment charge so you can get your specialists more often body armor is good but it's kind of scummy and same with acoustic sensor but we are I can't admit that they're bad but just kind of really scummy and annoying to play against now you're going to be wanting either scavenger or engineer uh, all perk ones are good on this game to be honest but scavenger engineer so you can see trip mines and stuff on the floor and scavenger just to replenish ammo if you are going on streaks now perk 2 my perk 2 of choice is gung-ho but you only unlock that at level 34 so i definitely recommend using that when you do get to it but lightweight is really good on this game because you can sprint around the map a little bit faster and you can take no damage when falling off of uh, like high heights for example uh, the cliff on jungle and other places like that now the perk 3 for this is going to be ghost and ghost is extremely powered on this game because uavs don't really last long anyway so for new players you're going to be wanting to avoid all like the good players who have got uavs up so you can level up yourself and i say ghost is an excellent perk for that keep yourself off the radar now the second weapon what I'm going to be showing you is the Titan which is probably the most broken weapon in this game as much as I hate this weapon like it is brain dead easy to use like this is probably the best weapon in the game to be honest in terms of like how fast it can kill and how reliable it is now what you really need on this is quick draw, stock, FMJ and reflex it's not much more to the gun really even that same perks again and either stim shot or comsec device just based on your style of play if you like to play fast i'd say stim shot but if you're more of a slow player more of a conservative player i'd say comsec device so you can get your score so you get a uh, decreased cost now smg on this game are not really that good that's the thing where treyarch hasn't done well on this game smgs are really really weak on this so i wouldn't really recommend honestly using any of them the sorg is all right and so is the cordite and spitfire but the first two are pretty trash and you get the spitfire at level 34 but if you put rapid fire on mx9 it becomes pretty good but i'd say for the mx9 use either elo or reflex or any of that. it's really your choice elo and reflex it kind of does the same thing but uh, rapid fire because it really does need like rapid fire like increase fire rate because it, it really lacks in that area hybrid mag so you can uh, reload faster and stay in gunfights longer and suppress it so you can keep yourself off the radar this is more of a stealth class because obviously you've got ghost as well you can really keep yourself off the radar with a suppressor and ghost so people can't really track where you are lightweight to get around the map faster you want to be hitting the flanks with this weapon obviously because making use of that suppressor so they can't like locate you on the radar now the last class of the, well no sorry but we've got uh, two more after this, we've got the Rampart which is probably the, uh, it's kind of like a weapon you don't really move with to be honest, so you don't really need ghosts you're not really going to be moving anyway. Now for this I'd say use double high calibre because um, high calibre it's increased headshot like just damage to the head, but high calibre too it's increased um, damage towards the chest. So you don't even need to hit the head to, to do a lot of damage with this weapon, you can just hit the chest which makes the time to kill a lot quicker than some weapons in this game so I'd definitely say use this and grip because the recoil is a little bit random it wasn't i wouldn't say it kicks a lot it's just it's random and when it kicks it could kick left right up down it's really stupid the way this uh, 
weapon recoils. Now I'd either say use fast mags to stay in the fire longer, or you could maybe use FMJ or long barrel, so you can maybe uh, kill them armor, u armor users quicker or long barrel to get people across range. Now I'd say you don't really need ghost on this one because you're not really um, going to be moving around as much because it's more of a post and a weapon and you wouldn't really need stim shot because again you're not really going to be moving you're going to be playing for streaks so i'd say this is a, probably a really good class setup where you can like i think you can have all attachments unlocked for this and the gun itself at about maybe level 20. now the last class i'm going to be showing you is with the kn57 which is a really sturdy assault rifle on this game not many people actually use it but um it's just suppressor rapid fire stock and hybrid mags which is a really really great setup for this weapon this is what i use if i use it myself now i don't really use comsec because I'm, I'm more in favor of a stim shot but it's really up to you i'd say probably with this weapon i'd say stim shot because it is more of a russian weapon and scavenger and lightweight again now once you level up you want to be replacing lightweight with gung ho and you want to be sometimes using dead silence instead of ghost i prefer that but these are some of my other classes what you might just want to take a quick look at for when you eventually do get higher levels in this game you look for better weapons it's going to be like the ABR, the Operator Mod is insane on that, that's a hardcore class for the Swordfish, the Operator Mod on the Swordfish for Core is really good as well. That's another hardcore class for the ICR, um, the Titan is just a really dominant weapon, this is for taking out streaks because with FMJ2 you can melt choppers down in about 10 to 15 bullets which is really overpowered. So you definitely want to be having a, a class there just to take out streaks. Now these two of me main just kind of pub stomping classes what I'll use in most of my um, gameplays you'll see. Uh, double quick draw stock Maddox with um, scavenger gung ho and team link. Team link is really overpowered on this game. Basically if you see a person on like you can physically see the person your teammate who has team link on will see their red dot appear on the mini map. So you could be on the opposite side of the map and still know where enemies are. And the Vapor is a really sturdy assault rifle for core in this game. It is like good fire, a good time to kill, not too much recoil, and it's just a really steady, balanced weapon. Now, in terms of score streaks, your normal score streak setup is UAV, Hellstorm, and Chopper, which is something I'd say a stick with. Then either remove Hellstorm for counter UAV, or Drone Squad is probably the best score streak on this game because of how much it costs, and it just stays beside you and protects your back at all times, which is really, really nice. Now, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. And if any of these classes did help you, please be sure to come back to this video and let me know about they helped you. And I will reply to your comment, like, a thank you, because I really do appreciate it. Now, having said that, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.